Hi, I'm Suzanne Mulholland and I'm um, also known as the Batch Lady. On this Batch Lady channel I will um, show you how to make multiple batches or multiple portions of fast, simple, homemade, portion controlled food that you can make in advance and freeze for later for whenever you need it. My motto is if you can make one, you can make two. The Batch Lady is all about time. It's about cooking, but it's also about getting meals in the freezer for whenever you need them as fast as possible. So today I'm going to show you a really quick recipe on how to make fish, um, fish cakes. Okay, these are super yummy, really easy to make. And we're going to use a fish pie mix that you can buy at any sort of supermarket. So I've already, just for timing wise, because I want to show you this quickly, I've already um, cooked this. So all I did is emptied this fish pie mix into, onto some tin foil in a tray and I put some salt and pepper and some lemon juice and it came out like this. And I just gave it a quick fork through. It was in quite big sections. And instead I just forked it through to make it smaller sections. Okay, so that is the fish is all ready to go. And this is a mixture of all dis different fishies. Um, and I think it's quite nice to do that. I like using fish pie mix because um, it gives you three different kinds of fish. Um, it's really easy to cook. You know, there's no bones in it, so it's super easy. We're also going to use the Batch Ladies um, easy, easy already made mashed potato. Remember this mashed potato only has butter, mash and milk in it. So it's really good for you. Someone else has just done the job, so why wouldn't you? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ready-made mash and I've got lots of stuff here to make lots of batches because of course that's the way I like to do it. I will make three batches of four because there's four of us. Okay, so I've got that, and I'm just going to take a huge scoop of fish, which has gone all over the counter. And you're just going to mash it through. Now, I don't tend to season this anymore because I already seasoned the fish when I cooked it. Um, and I just cook it before I video because um, you don't want to watch a video for 15 minutes. Most people want to watch it for five. So um, you don't need to see me cooking some fish. All I did is put it in a tray and put it in. Now, we like to be very healthy, so I like a lot more fish than mash. So I'm just going to put some extra fish in. And as you can see, this mash is really pliable. It's fantastic. Okay, so that was one packet of mash. So that's probably going to make about four fish cakes. And I've got enough there to make the next packet of mash, which I will do when you're off watching my next YouTube video. Um, and stay tuned till the end of this video because I will show you that with these same ingredients, you can make different foods. Okay, so all I'm going to do is sort of roughly cut it into four. Some of them will be a bit bigger, but we've got two adults and two children, so that's fantastic. So what I would say is don't make them too flat or they tend to fall apart when you defrost them. So you want to make them quite tall. I would say about an inch tall, okay? And these tend to stay together better. So that's your mash and your fish. And all you're going to do is you're going to roll it in some beaten egg. So here I've just got some egg that I had um, beaten up, nothing else in it, just egg. And then I've actually just got this. Just some shop bought breadcrumbs that you can buy at any supermarket at all. And I am just going to add, add that one in to the breadcrumbs. Just give it a pat round and out it comes. There you go. Now I have a child who doesn't like dill. So usually I put dill in all my um, fish cakes. But in this one, I'm not going to. And that's the secret about making homemade. You could buy fish cakes, but it's really nice to know what goes in them. There's no additives or anything. So for the rest of the fish cakes, I'm going to add some dill. So I've got some dill that I bought at the supermarket here, and I've got some fantastic um, scissors because I'm not a chef, of course, as you know. I just cook for a huge extended family um, here on the farm. So I just like to really chop the dill in. And that's probably plenty. So with the rest of this, I can put the dill in. And that's what's really good actually about, you know, dealing with different people with different tastes, is that you can actually do as you please with it. So the rest of it has dill. And we only need to make this into three now, okay? So I'll just sort of portion a three. And there we go, we've got one third. It's quite a small one, which is good, so my eight-year-old will quite enjoy that. I might add a bit more, it's a bit small. So you can add them to the size that you want. If you've got five kids, this recipe will certainly manage to eke out to five, so don't worry about that. We tend to eat quite big portions in our house. 
I only think you need one though, and I serve it with lots of vegetables or a salad, and it's yummy. Roll it in your roll it in your breadcrumbs. Now this recipe is fantastic because you really just it's really a bit of a dump bag. You're just preparing it for later. Um, these can cook from frozen, or they can cook. Um, you can defrost them and cook them. I usually defrost things because I need things cooked quickly in the evenings when we come in, and I've done a school run and everything, so. Um, I like to defrost them. And you can put different flavourings in your breadcrumbs if you want. These I'm just making quite plain for my first ones to show you. Okay. So my ingredients were literally fish pie mix, um, some mashed potato that was already made, some dill, put a bit of lemon juice in, an egg, and my ready-made, my ready-made, um, what were they? Breadcrumbs. Bear with me, this is my first sort of couple of times of um, YouTubing, so um, I really want to get it right and show you what you're doing. So there we have four amazing fish cakes, and they're going to do you for a whole recipe, for, um, sorry, a whole meal for an evening. And all I like to do with them now is open up some foil, because I'm going to cook them on the foil, so I may as well just keep them like that. Okay, so there they are on my foil, you can see that. I'm just going to fold the foil over into a bit of a parcel. And you want to be careful with these because they are going to squish. So when you put them in the freezer, put them somewhere flat until they're actually frozen. I'm then going to take one of my lovely freezer bags that I always love. I've labelled it already, fish cakes times four. And I'll quite often write on what I want to serve it with as well. And we're going to put it in. We're not going to squash it all the air out of it like I usually do because actually you want to wait till it's frozen. But what I will do is freeze this flat and then go back and maybe take some more air out of it after. Now, that's been five minutes. We have one for the freezer. We're just about to have another one that I'll do once I'm off air. And it just lets you see how easy it is to cook these meals. This takes about five minutes. Now, I promised you at the end, I was also tell you another thing to make. Because I've got all this laid out and I've got my dill and my fish and my potatoes, I'm also going to continue with a fish pie now and get two of them in the freezer. It's going to take another five minutes. So check out my fish pie video. Please thumbs up me, subscribe below, get in touch, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to do more recipes for you. Thank you very much. You are watching Suzanne on The Batch Lady. Thank you very much. Bye.